the index is the power and the number is the base. So if you are given a case like x raised to power 3, 3 is the index and x is the base. So the number itself is the base and the power is the index. If you have 2 raised to power 7, 7 is the index, 2 is the base. So the power to any number is the index and the number itself is the base. Next, on the loss of indices, the following rules are generally applies to all indices. So case 1, when n is a positive whole number, when n is a positive whole number, if you have a case like a n, it implies a multiplied by itself n times. If n is a positive whole number and you have a case like a raised to power n, then a multiplied by itself n times. An example like if you have 8 raised to power 3, that is 8 by itself 3 times, 6 raised to power 2, that is 6 by itself twice, x raised to power 5, that is x by itself 5 times. of negative powers if you have a case like x raised to power negative n that is 1 over x raised to power n so the negative simply implies the reciprocal an example an example in that case if you have a number like 5 raised to negative 3 that is simply 1 over 5 to power 3 the negative sign simply implies reciprocal. Then rule number three, the zero power. Anything raised to power zero is one. Any number raised to power zero is one, be it known or unknown. Any number raised to power zero is one. A raised to power zero is one. Two raised to power zero is one. Then the third case of the rules of indices are the fractional powers like a raised to power one over n is just nth root of a. So a fractional power simply imply a root. So if you have a case like uh, 2 raised to power a half, that is simply square root of 2. That is simply square root of 2. If you have 3 raised to power 1 over 5, that is the fifth root of 3.